FM Election Watch. Central South Africa goes to the polls. Let us with the update on the special votes in the province. Both days of the special votes went uh, very well indeed. On Monday, 10 of our 1,698 stations uh, were delayed because of a variety of reasons, two of which were uh, community protests in Daung and in Rustenburg, and the rest were the two car accidents that we had in the joint area, and also areas where the escort of the ballot papers was delayed. On the second day, though, all stations opened on time, except the Daung station, Itirelen Community Hall, because we had to request assistance from the security personnel to break the gate that was locked so we could gain access to our station. Uh, fortunately, today, all our stations opened on time, except for the one station in Khanyesa, where uh, an area manager was involved in a car accident. We managed to rescue the ballot papers because the South African Police Service uh, gentlemen were on site and they waited for the relief car from the local office. We had a major incident in Rustenburg Jabula Hostel where the military tent that we had borrowed was stolen overnight. We have opened a case, we have a case number, and we hope that the SAPS will be able to arrest the perpetrators. What measures do you have in place to ensure that these incidents don't occur today? It is not completely easy to predict that a crime will take place, such as our stolen vehicle, for instance. We know that some of our roads in the province are very bad, especially in the Kakisan and the local area where we had an accident of um, an area manager transporting ballot papers and other material, security material in particular. But we're doing everything in our best to be at collection points two hours before the event so that we give allowance for any mishap that might happen and that we can um, uh, rope in a plan B. For instance, in Khamutibi at the Itri Lane Community Hall, where a few members of the community, about 50 or so, we are told, were protesting. Uh, we made sure that permanent staff members go there to work because uh, the original IEC staff, election staff, were afraid that they live in the village and they might be targeted uh, for retribution of sorts after the event. So we, we always have a plan B and a plan C and even a plan D. However, we really would love to appeal to communities that they allow the IEC to conduct these elections in a manner that is well planned, uh, appropriate, so that everybody can be treated fairly. We give enough time to everybody by opening stations at the same time and have as few disruptions as possible. How was the voters' turnout for the past two days? We're still collating the numbers because uh, they need to be verified. But provisionally, we have over 79,000 uh, voter turnout, helped mainly, of course, by the 43,000 uh, 519 uh, voters that we visited at home. Home visits are a 100% turnout because we go to each and every single house. Even yesterday, after 5 o'clock, we had to work until probably just before 8 o'clock because we consider those voters waiting for us at their homes as voters in a queue at closing time at 5 o'clock, so we have to serve them. Uh, Walk-ins, walk uh, that turnout was not that, that significant really. We, um, in very few instances, we attained a 55% the turnout for work is, but the 43,000 uh, that we, we had to visit at home, we did visit. Unfortunately, some of them, of course, were not at home because they were not aware that somebody had applied for them by uh, proxy. But in the overall, we're happy if we go past the 50% mark, then we're happy. Is there anything that you want to add with regards to today? To encourage South Africans to go to 
polling station to voting stations as early as possible. Because for us, May is winter time. We don't want anybody going to stations, being 67% traditional communities or the so-called rural areas where lighting is not as bright as in urban areas. We really would encourage voters to go as early as possible to voting stations. OFM Election Watch. Follow hashtag OFM Election Watch.